What's up, YouTubers? So before we get started with this video on Get Up, they're going to be talking about how Aaron Rodgers outplayed Drew Brees last weekend. So let's see what they have to say about that. Let's go to the host of our show, Rex Ryan, this morning. Uh, Rex, your thoughts on Aaron Rodgers and, in particular, how comfortable he all of a sudden looks in this offense at year two. Yeah, Greeny, when I look at it, look, last year they were 3-0, but it feels so different, feels so much better. It really is be because it's more intentional of a 3-0. Last year, you didn't quite know if it was they were getting lucky or what was going on. This year, the 3-0 feels way more intentional because they're bowling out of control right now. Because of the connection he has with uh, LaFleur as coach. I mean, look, last year, there was friction there. You know, and maybe he, you know, I want to do things my way. Well, no, they're together right now. And that's scary for the whole league. Dan, and, what do you think, Dano? Uh, I'd say this. <laughs> Good job, host. Um, <laughs> no, I, after week one's performance, I said that was the best Aaron Rodgers looked in five years. And some people thought I was a little being extreme. Aaron Rodgers himself thought I was being extreme. This is the best Aaron Rodgers has looked in five years. After three weeks, he's playing his best football. Green Bay is the crown of the NFC. They are as complete a football team as we have. Well, I don't know about that. I would say that the Seattle Seahawks are right up there with the Green Bay Packers, too. Having the NFC and right now playing the best. And the biggest thing is this. There were some questions coming into the season of how good Matt LaFleur was. Like, it, was he going to be good enough? I had was, those questions. Was last year nope. uh, an aberration? You know, first year as a head coach? He is the reason why number 12 is playing so well. That's the thing that's going on right now is Green Bay. And I remember when Aaron Rodgers sat there in the press conference and said, I, as they were playing San Francisco, said, I want my offense to look like that offense. I want to have fun playing quarterback like San Francisco's quarterback does. Matt LaFleur has brought that. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing right now with Green Bay is the reason for their success is the quarterback and coach are seeing everything the same way. All right, our so I don't know if it's Matt LaFleur is the you know the main reason. I think it's more Aaron Rodgers, obviously because he's the guy that's in there playing. But you know Aaron Rodgers is a Hall of Fame, you know Super Bowl winning quarterback that's well on his way to getting to going to another one. So I think it's more Aaron Rodgers than Matt LaFleur. So I wouldn't have said that. I would have just left it at Aaron Rodgers putting in work. So we see one side of it. The Packers obviously right now look as good as any team in the NFL. The other side, Drew Brees came back to win a Super Bowl this year. They're one and two and struggling in a lot of different ways. What do you see from the Saints? Well, the difference is this. Listen, 12 can still do it and nine can't. And that's okay. So now... You Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I'm not ready to say that Drew Brees can't do it anymore. I refuse to believe that he's fallen off this fast from last year to this year. I think this, is, this could be the start of a bad year. He doesn't have Michael Thomas, which is huge. So I would not say that Drew Brees can't get it done anymore. We have to figure out a way to win. We talked about Aaron Rodgers' confidence. Yeah, it's confidence, but through that confidence, we're seeing that talent. You're seeing him rolling to the left and hitting Lazard down the field. You're yeah. seeing no-look passes. When you watch Drew Brees, it's not even dink and dunk. It's, okay, I'm going to get the ball to Alvin Kamara as fast as I can so he can do things that I can't. 60% of his yards last night were yards after the catch. He is so reliant on the people around him. That's not the Drew Brees we know. And so as the Green Bay Packers go throughout this season, what they will think to themselves is, we can win because of the guy that is playing quarterback for our team. What the Saints will, will think is, no matter what happened, it won't be a Minneapolis miracle, it won't be a Kyle Rudolph push-off, it will not be a missed defensive pass interference. The reason the Saints won't win the F Super Bowl this year is because their quarterback can't do it. Mm. And that's something that they haven't dealt with in a decade and a half. Th that is a big Again, I would not say that until uh, Drew Brees has all his players on deck. Like I said, Michael Thomas is a huge reason for what's going on with the New Orleans uh, Saints. I mean, last year, I think statistically, Michael Thomas was the uh, number one wide receiver in the league. That's huge. You trying to tell me that Drew Brees isn't going to feel that with, with not having him at this point in time? Yeah, so I would definitely not judge Drew Brees too harshly. I mean, it's not good the way he's playing right now. But it's too early to throw him away. Statement, but it's hard, kind of hard to disagree with as you watch it. Rex Ryan, as you watch this New Orleans team that has been as good as any in the league for the last half decade consistently, if not more, can they do it well enough on either side of the ball to be a legit Super Bowl contender? Well, uh, right now they can't. But if there's, we, we talk, everybody talks about Deshaun Watson missing DeAndre Hopkins. 
are you kidding me? Drew Brees misses Michael Thomas so bad sure. that he, he doesn't have the confidence in the other guys. I mean, he could just see man coverage. I'm going to throw it right there, whatever it was. So to me, look, they got to get back to running the football more and, and play okay, action. Right. Right. They so, need to. Right. So I hear that. I hear what you're saying. And, and Dan as well. When you have a guy like Drew Brees, when you have a guy like Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, what do we always say? They can make everyone around them better. Right. This has changed now. It right. is. So, so, so if you're if you're coaching the New Orleans Saints, where do you start with this offense if you find trying to find a way to win the I'm Super Bowl? I'm gonna start running the football. They average. Exactly. You pound the ball with your best player at this point in time, which would be Alvin Kamara. Six yards of carry. Kamara was yeah, almost ten yards of carry yesterday. And and look, I get it. No Michael Thomas, so you got to change things a little bit. Go to more of a running attack, but and here's that's going to help everybody. The game in the NFL right now is about being explosive. We saw They saw it last night with Green Bay. And so you look at Green Bay, they're explosive. Seattle, they're explosive. Yeah. Tampa Bay is explosive. Um, Dallas is explosive. You're not explosive on offense right now, New Orleans. You can operate and you can execute. But that won't be enough. But now, granted, they gonna... scored 27 and 24 without Michael Thomas, so that's good. You can right. score, but can you be explosive enough to win? That's the game right now in the NFL. Running the football is not going to do that. You can't screen pass people to death. You can't and, and we, it beat good football well, teams right now. Well, New England did. But they beat the Raiders. Excuse yeah, me, did. Greeny. Greeny, but would you did. like to... Hold on, excuse me one second, host. Greeny, would you like to join the show? Yes. Go I'm ahead. Jump in very quickly and just finish this conversation with this question for you, Ryan Clark. What are you seeing from Aaron Rodgers right now? That's your nemesis. Let's finish it on the guy who won the game last night and whose team right now looks seeing, like it may be the best Listen, in the I'm seeing Aaron Rodgers right now being able to call people by their number, even though he knows their names, and go, because that's the way he is fitting <laughs> balls in. And listen, every time I watch it, every time I watch it, it just brings back memories and nightmares of how great that man was. And he said he started watching film from 2010, yeah. and that's the dude he was. When you go have a conversation with your coach and say, I want it to look like this, and he makes it look that way, like you say, Dan, you put that pressure on yourself. For sure. And I believe that Aaron Rodgers wanted that pressure, and my goodness, is he thriving in it. That throw to Lazard. The throw to Lazard rolling over his left and throwing it with air, and it lands so softly. I said, like, with a butter, like a butterfly with sore feet.